Hello, today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and some of its easy and simple editing tools. Okay, well, step back a bit and let's think. Years ago, not too many, if you were out in the street and you wanted to make a phone call, you'd find a phone booth, put some change in the slot, and make your call. Nowadays, you reach in your pocket, pull out your cell phone, and technology has made your life easier. And so it is with technology for the image editor. Years ago, if you had a very dark image, all you could use was brightness and contrast. Now technology has made great strides. We have something new called fill light. Fill light is a combination of brightness, contrast, and gamma, all applied smoothly in a very, very fantastic formula. And that's what makes this new technology work so well. Okay, let me give you a little demonstration. I'm going to put a couple of these into the queue by clicking on the little plus sign. Okay, you see the plus, right? Click the plus sign. Click this plus sign. And we'll even do this young man here. Okay? I'm going to click this left arrow here just to get back to the first picture. And you can see we've got an original image here. Very, very dark, underexposed. I'm going to get into the image editor by double clicking right in the middle of that picture and there we are well what are we going to do well it's obvious we have to increase the brightness because we can't see anything here at all so I'm going to bring the brightness up some and we'll see where we are let's take it up to about 38 okay and let's take this guy up to about 38 also I know I practiced and that's about the best we're going to get it Okay, and I'm going to say OK, apply to the big image. And that's about the best we're going to get it, believe it or not. Okay, now I'm going to say clear, and I'm going to move to the next image by clicking next. And I'm going to look at this image here. This is the same image we just left. I just did it and optimized it. I did the very, very best I could. I've got 37 brightness, 40 contrast. And I even went into the Levels tab and moved the gamma a little brighter to pull some of the mud out of these dark spots here. And that's the absolute best I could get it. Now let's click the Next button again and see what the fill light can do with this same problem. Click Next. And there's the fill light. Now if you notice, I'm going to put a zero back in here so you can see this. Okay. There's the original image. Okay like that. And if you notice, all I'm doing is putting in maximum fill light. And this only goes to 20, so that's all we can do. And we say OK, and there we are. That's quite a bit of difference. OK? Now, I'm going to pop back to the previous one so you can really see it. OK, you can see how faded out it looks compared to the fill light. And you can see the dramatic difference it makes. Also, have a look at the cloud, for example. The cloud is gone in this one. And with the fill light, you retain the cloud. So that makes a big dramatic difference to how you edit your photographs. OK, let's click Next again. And here we have this handsome young man. I'm going to clear anything that was previously done and show you kind of a very faded, funny-looking picture. That's the way it came out of the camera. Okay, well, the first thing I do when I edit a picture like this is to find the white balance and click the eyedropper and put the pointer on the collar because it's white, or at least we believe it's white, and click, and lo and behold, we've got a change in the white balance. I apply it to the big image, and you can see things look a little bit better, but not good enough. So we could go to um, fill light and add a bunch of numbers here and improve his picture, right? We could do that. And we see we made a big improvement, but I think we can do a little better with this guy. And I want to show you a different tool to use at the same time. So I'm going to put this back to zero where it was, like that. Okay. And now we're going to open up the levels button, the scary button. Levels is really not that scary. It has three sliders, highlights, mid-range and shadows that's pretty easy so far okay 
well, what do we want to do with this guy? We want to brighten him up some, okay? So we need to go a little bit this way on the slider for highlights, okay? Now, what number do you stop at? Well, that's just a matter of your eyeball. Take a look at the picture, okay, like that. Apply it to the big picture, and how do you like that? Well, I think we made a great improvement. I think we can just do a little bit better because he's his flesh tone is getting a little light in here like he needs some sunshine. So I'm going to go in here to the mid-tones and I'm going to slide it down a little bit like that. Okay, and let's see what that looks like applied. Okay, I got a little bit more color back in this area here. And if you want, I can back this off a couple of numbers like that. And I think we've got it. That looks pretty darn good, I think. But it's all a matter of taste. It's what you like. So that's where you put that slider. There's no special number. There's no special thing to do. You do it with your eye. Okay, I'm going to click Done. And QImage Ultimate is now asking me, do you want to save this work that you just did? And I say, yes, it's only a filter. I'm not hurting the original image. So why not say yes? As simple as that. Okay, I have one more thing to show you. Right now I'm going to clear the queue, so I right click in the middle of that large picture, find clear queue, and all the pictures are gone. Okay, for the moment let's assume that you have a daughter that's about six years old and there's a birthday party down the street at the neighbor's house and you take her down there and she's having a great time and you take a whole bunch of pictures and you come home and you want to get these pictures out on paper right away. Okay? Well, I'm only going to use a few images here for the sake of time, but let's say that this was one of them, and this was one of them, and this was one of them. Okay? I'm going to put him in here, too, for a summation. Okay? Back we go to the first image again by clicking the left arrow, and we're going to go back into the image editor by double-clicking in the middle of the big picture. Okay? Well, here she is, and she looks pretty good. I can skip right over her. Okay? I'm going to say next, and now we come to these two girls. And, whoop, they have red eye. That means the flash caught them in a funny way and created red eye. I'm sure you've seen that before. Well, we're in QImage Ultimate, so we can take care of that with no problem at all. We're going to right-click our pointer right in the middle of the eye and bring this up like this. Okay, I'm going to enlarge it so you can see it better. And our instructions are right here drag left for red eye. Okay, I'm going to put my pointer in the center of the eye, hold down the mouse, and drag my pointer left and get rid of the red eye. Now it says right click to center. Well, I'm going to right click right there and put that eye in the center of this box. Drag to the left for red eye. Put the pointer in the center, drag to the left, and there we are. Okay, now we're going to go get the next girl. And there she is. Drag to the left for red eye. This is getting easier and easier, isn't it? Okay, now I've got to get to the other eye, right? So the simplest way is just say OK. And now put my pointer dead center and right click. And there we are. Okay. I'll bring it up again to the magnification that you can see better. And again, dead center, drag left for red eye. Okay, and that's all done. I say OK, and all the red eye is gone. Oops, what do we see here? We've got that blemish. OK, right click on the blemish to center it in the box. Instructions, drag right for blemishes. OK, put our pointer right in the middle of the blemish, like that. Drag right, gone. OK, good job. OK on that, and we're all set. I'm going to say done. Well, I've got to say next, actually, because i got one more picture to show you. And this box is asking me again, do you want to save what you just did? Sure, why not? I can always erase it, change it, fix it, anything I want. Well, here's a, a, a picture right now that looks just a tad white, just a tad white. You know, what I'm trying to show you here is that the fill light is not only for making things lighter, but it also makes things darker. So we're going to say minus 2 or 3 like that, minus 4, 
okay and we're going to apply it to the big image and you can see we got a whole lot more flesh in in the face than we had before okay i'm going to say next because i want to go back to this young man again it's asking me to save the filter i say sure okay now here's our young man again and i just want to sum up what we did because it was going pretty fast okay i'm going to say clear that takes everything off that i did before and again i'm going to click on the eyedropper where it says white balance that's the first thing i do and i put the eyedropper on something i think is white or i'm pretty sure is white i'm hoping is white i click and that improves the white balance you can see it got applied i still need to lighten this some so I'm going to use levels for the sake of our demonstration and I'm going to drag this slider over to where he's looking just about right let's see something right in here would do let's see how he looks okay that might be a little bit light but we'll see we can change it I click OK to apply to the image looking much much better much better okay I'm going to try to fill in just a little bit in here by taking the mid-tone slider down a little bit like that okay and I'm going to say okay and you can see what I've done I've got a little more flesh in here instead of just whitishness and I'm just going to go backwards a little bit here just like a 93 or that's good like that okay apply and there I am and if I wanted to finish product I'm going to take this box and drag them down here like a crop. And I'm going to move this out here a little bit. Okay. And make something really pretty. Okay, pull that up a little bit. And there we go. I say done. Okay, save it. Yes. Okay, and I'll show you what we did for our nice fellow over here. Look what we made. A beautiful picture you can put in a frame any day of the week. Okay, that about does it. I thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.